Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today's story is called An Unforgettable Journey, a Juneteenth story, written by Courtney Tate. Now this remarkable book is about a sweet little girl and the friends and family as they gather around for a day filled with sunshine, love, friendship, food, and the story. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> the sounds of laughter and excitement filled the air as the children played on the swings and splashed through the water. The Juneteenth cookout was finally here. Campbell had waited for this all year long and was surrounded by all of her friends and cousins. Now Campbell and the other children smelled the delicious food on the grill all afternoon long. The food is ready, someone shouted and all of the children cleaned up and raced each other to the food line as fast as they could. There were so many tasty options on the table that Campbell's tummy rumbled and growled for the feast to come. There were hamburgers, hot dogs, fried fish, chicken wings, corn on the cob, baked beans, fresh fruit, and so much more. Campbell's plate was so full that she rushed to the table before the flimsy paper thing could fold under all that weight. Everyone at the table licked their lips, ready to throw down. Now with everyone finishing up their food and throwing their napkins on their plates, Campbell and the other children were growing more and more excited by the minutes. Dad, is it almost time? She asked, and her dad glanced down at his watch. Yup, it's time, he said. Yes, Campbell shouted with joy. Everyone, come on, it's story time. And all of the children raced behind her towards the big tree and took their seats. Now each year, Miss Sarah told the story at the cookout and since they were celebrating Juneteenth this year, Campbell knew it was going to be epic. All right, everyone, Campbell said, standing in front of the crowd. This is Miss Sarah. She's going to tell us an awesome story today. Girl, we all know Miss Sarah. She needs no introduction. Someone shouted from the crowd as everyone laughed. Now Miss Sarah was well known in the community. She had been around for a long time and she was filled with wisdom and enthusiasm. Campbell just couldn't hide her excitement to hear the day's story. Now Miss Sarah took a seat, holding a glass of ice cold sweet tea right beside her. All right, boys and girls, are you all ready for a story? She said with a smile, and all the children cheered. Woo! I'm just so excited that it is June 10th. I never thought that I would see the day that we would celebrate it as a national holiday, Miss Sarah said, waving her hand. Now my grandpa used to tell us stories on the tree, just like we are today, she recalled. And now I get to share those stories with you all. And the children crossed their legs and focused all their attention on Miss Sarah. 
Now, once a long time ago, black men and women were sold into slavery and forced to work in the fields. The women often cooked and cleaned, and they weren't allowed to learn how to read. Meanwhile, men were forced to do manual labor, everything from plowing fields to building houses. These were very hard times. Black men and women didn't have freedom like we do today until one significant day when President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation that was said to free all slaves. All over the nation, there were celebrations and cheer. Black men and men and women dreamed of the day that they would live lives of their own. But even after the Emancipation Proclamation, in many parts of Texas, they were still plowing the fields all day long in that heat and working as slaves. Huh? However, two years, five months, and eight days later, a glorious day came for all of the slaves that still only could dream of freedom. And on that day, Union Major General Gordon Granger walked through the city of Galveston, Texas with the following announcement. He said, <clears throat> The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States. All slaves are now free. Youngins, you wouldn't believe the excitement. People cried tears of relief and jumped up and down with joy. And they hugged their neighbors and ran around with excitement. But most of all, they felt like they could finally breathe. Even if it was just a small moment in time, they felt as if their lives had changed forever. Now at that moment, former slaves and all black people walked the streets with their heads held high. They felt as if finally they had won. The people gathered together with love and celebrated with delicious food and most of all, with freedom. They had waited for that day for so long, and for the first time ever, they could come together and engage with each other, something that they had never done before. Now hearing this story made all the children cheer, and they cheered for the black men and women who had won the freedom that they deserved. They even cheered for freedom of their own. And Miss Sarah continued, I remember going to my grandpa's where everyone in the community gathered together every year to celebrate that day of freedom now known as Juneteenth. Black people and white people were still separated back then and even going to completely different schools based on color. Now, black people still weren't allowed to be in the same spaces as white people, but Juneteenth represented freedom. It represented progress. Now, each Juneteenth, we would go to the parade and dance in the streets, celebrating the freedom of our ancestors. And then we would go to recreation centers or church and eat real good we really threw down then we would laugh together play and run around just like you all are today except it was just black folks gathering in celebration now today is freedom day it's our freedom day we used to chant miss sarah 
She leaned back in her seat and drank a sip of her sweet tea. Now that's my story of how we came to celebrate today, Juneteenth, Freedom Day, she said. And with a big smile, she glanced at all of the children of various ethnicities and colors sitting in front of her and felt true happiness in her heart. Quietly and joyfully, she resumed the chant from her childhood. Today is Freedom Day. It's our Freedom Day. Today is Freedom Day. It's our Freedom Day, she said. And the children all stood up jumping with excitement today is freedom day it's our freedom day today is freedom day it's our freedom day and the children began to chant over and over again as they danced laughed and celebrated freedom together Juneteenth is to celebrate freedom Always remember that, Miss Sarah shouted. It's our freedom day. Now Campbell looked around at everyone at the cookouts and felt proud. Proud to be celebrated, just a great part of history with love, gratitude, and freedom in our heart. Wow, what a wonderful, wonderful story. Now, boys and girls, June 19th became Juneteenth. And African Americans all around the world now celebrate Juneteenth on June 19th. It's officially recognized as a national holiday. Thank you so much for joining us for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.